This is the perfect exercise for you at this moment. Awesome. Very well done. Have a look. Just giving your body license to your body license to move. It's okay to to then kind of walk through it. Yeah, yeah at the maybe. moment, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, because your left foot's not supporting you. See. Yeah. It's a real big difference in the in the first part of the downswing. That's just that's so so. That's all right. It's not bad. So to help us rotate more. Yeah. Yeah. What I want to do is cool. So this is a new train aid that's coming out soon. It's a vector map. So I've called it the vector map. It's basically a slider system and we are working on the chains that we need to recruit to activate, if you say, if you like, well, activate the chains we need to use the ground to create the force in the right direction. So the vector is the direction of the force. And what we're doing is we're essentially working on equal and opposite. So in order to rotate that way, we're gonna be pushing the ground in the opposite way, okay. as you've seen before, as you've, you've worked on numerous times. But what we're doing here is we're actually gonna direct that force, but also use the chains at the right speed. So we're not trying to simulate something artificially. We're going to start here and what we're going to do for yourself is we're going to drop and pop but we're going to slide the foot to the light blue okay so when the when we don't have the ability to slide we get the opposite okay. so it's it's essentially not trying to copy the movement pattern all we're doing is we're creating the opportunity here to use the ground to fire the chain to create the movement pattern we need using the right vector so it's not a it's not like a push yeah. from where your mass is back. Yeah. I want you to be able to get a little bit more active. Let me show you again. So not this. Yeah. That's so it's a, yeah. so you start tall, drop, pop. So you drop with the slide and then pop. Okay. Okay. Start feet together, feet together. That's it. Drop with the slide and then pop off on the tiptoes. No, no, no. So not like a golf swing. Let me show you again. So what these are, these are components of a golf swing that are missing. So which then when integrated, create the full chain. Okay. Okay. No rotations. Just drop in to slide the foot and spring up off your tiptoes. Use the balls of your feet. Yeah, don't rotate back. Just stay facing George. Yes, that's better. Bit more abrupt, be a bit more assertive with it. So it's a drop pop. Yes, so that, now we're looking at the recruitment of the chain, the speed of it. Very good. Just keep the foot out there as you drop. There we go, that was better. That was a real pop through the pelt. That's good, excellent. Yes. Okay, just have a swing for me. Don't even think, just have a few swings in the air. Just little half swings back and forth without stopping. A bit more speed, really shorter swing, but very assertive. Lots, lots of more force, that's it. Yeah. Keep going and now work into a cut. Work into a low cut. Keep going, use your chest forward to help you get that low point further forward. Yes. Keep going, does that feel different? Yes. In what way did it feel different? I feel more this way, much more on top of it. And the hips are working more like this rather than this. Excellent, that, because that's exactly what we're stimulating. Let's have a few shots doing that. So low cut from... Low cut, yeah. Normal stance. Low cut. Good shot, really good shot. So if you look at the stability pattern of your body, 
Yeah, it looks more look stable at this. to you. Can you see how For sure. it's it's the upper body's a lot more stable yeah, than the lower strong, body. Look yeah. at it. Yeah, it looks strong. Watch this. And it stays strong, watch. Rotate this way, just yeah, there it's at the shadow. Uh-huh. Yeah, that right leg is continuing to work. So that right foot engagement is still there. You could even keep it later, even longer. So what we what we can do is before we move on to the other exercises, use this. We can use that, and I want you to continue to push into it. Okay. So you're going to you're going to be as you strike the golf ball, continue to increase the pressure into that foot. Oh, really good trajectory. I can tell the dynamic dynamic left was pretty good there because the it was solid and its trajectory was good. It was a little left though. Oh yeah, that's a really strong right leg. Oh yeah, very good impact. So different, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that right leg looks like it's in a position to push. Look at that right leg extension yeah. now. So you've still got the first and fifth met head. And look, look at the activation there through the right side. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Can you I see can. it, George? Yeah. So. So you're saying you're still seeing activation through the right toe. This is good, right? yeah. It's still yeah. in gate connection. The chain, look at that. It's so interesting because I've had people, you know, have me drop the basketball, put the basketball between my legs and drop it. Yeah, that's not. You know what I mean? That's, like yeah, that's all super, it, yeah. But it's not. The, Superficial. The underlying push is not there. Because yeah. well, this is a sense, all I said was increase the pressure so you can feel the pain. <laughs> so you're just increasing that discomfort. What that's doing is it's, that's firing the chain that you need for that propulsion and rotation. So it, it, it's, uh, yeah, you need, you need to use one of these for practice. No, you want another one. You another one, yeah, yeah. I want you to hit a few. Okay. Here. Keep the pressure, low cut. That was a gorgeous shot. Okay, so we can rotate the torso more. So see there's the extension, like mm -hmm. it's so late in terms of too late. No, as in in previous, it's no Early extension so as far no, as like no, no ex yeah, look, you're going the other way. In the butt, yeah. yeah, look, look, look at this. You're you're like you're engaged. Look at the engagement the right leg yeah. all the time. Right. Okay. So now I want to do the same exercise, but off a high T peg. This is gonna essentially tilt the face plane left, so you've got to really work to get that fade. So what we see, yeah, it's difficult for you to get the swing direction left at the moment. Well, I can't get a straight at all. Yeah, because the swing direction's been used to, it's be, it's, if we, we can see where the delivery of the club was previously, it was, like you said, the mass was behind the hands. So again, just do this exercise. We're gonna start the ball left of the, uh, of the bin. Okay. See where the bin is. This ball's gotta start left of that bin. Got to go again, got to get it left of the bin. We're just seeing what your face path awareness is like for this, from this delivery angle. It's interesting when I was st only standing on my right foot, my takeaway is always perfect. And on both feet, it's always under. Okay, that's why we struggled to, we didn't fade it. So let's go again, yep. just take your set up. So, Let's explore where we need to go to cut this ball. So how would you exaggerate to cut this ball with the, with the hands? Where would you need to go? Yeah. Just feel the, feel the trajectory of the club head. Where's that going? It's better. Now we can go more. So we need to go we need to, wherever you went then. I want you to explore more in that range. So where did you feel you went with the, with the club? What did you do? Okay, what about the backswing? How can you use your backswing to encourage that? Well done. So we can start to match up release pattern. 
with body mechanics. Intention of body movement, yeah. Big cut, engaging with the right leg. Yeah. So that felt like the Bubba Slice. Okay. Seems to look more athletic. Yeah, it is. We've yeah. got to, what I want to do is work on that. So as you're delivering that golf club, yeah. where do you feel the butt end going? Is it here? Yeah, along this way. Here, butt end, along there. Mm -hmm. So if we put that in there, mm -hmm. right. where do I need to be here for the butt? For you to swing left? Is it shallower? Is it steeper? Yeah, Where do you feel it? Just like this. Okay, cool. So I want you to swing back. Yeah, like You're pressuring the spiky mat and I want your eyes to follow the alignment stick. Mm -hmm. For a big one, for a big shape, yeah. Yeah, let your eyes follow the alignment stick. So eyes are gonna, it's hand-eye coordination then we can start to use our third eye when we're not looking down and we've got a visual, we've got some orientation, sense of orientation around us without having to look. We kind of know where everything is. We've created this map and at the minute we need to enrich that map. So go again for me. No ball. No ball. Awesome. Very well done. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, well, I just saw like up at five and a half or so or whatever, it was through the hands really nicely. Much different. Right there, above the, the really open. Okay. Yeah, and unloaded really look in front of the ball rather yeah. than. In, in. And look how rotated you are and where the club head is in relation to you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Different feel? Mm hmm. Yeah. So, creating this sensory map, vision is obviously a, a huge sense so by looking and actually sense and you can feel where the handle is when we take our vision away and go to the ball we can still replicate that feeling because we're spatially aware more globally so instead of being so localized in, with your attention developing awareness in these areas which have only been bit parts of the action we're actually taking ourselves externally away now sensory feeling sensory wise what we're doing with the ground when we're doing it but globally feeling where we are with the club in terms of the shot we want to play and where the ball is in relation to us. So we're creating a real good map. Let's do this again. So let's go again. Yep. So you're mapping basically now. This is a map we're creating. So I want you to go same exercise. This is the, this is the perfect exercise for you at this moment. Using the spiky mat. Stick for my eye line. So I think of eye line as butter the grip. Pressure mat, so you're feeling spiky, is basically a pressure mat. If that was a pressure plate, you'd be, it'd be ramping up there. And you're gonna, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. I just wanna, I just wanna show you from face on. Because what you get in here is a visual affirmation of what you've just felt. So even if, you, if you're conscious of this or not, it doesn't really matter, you're getting a picture, it's mirroring. And you're using this mirror image here to optimize next time. So you've got some feedback for next time. It's all looking much better. Yeah, you got the head kind of going that way. Okay. I was happier with that than, mm. I, than I thought. Yeah, I mean, don't get, strike. don't yeah. assume the strike means it's a good shot or not, uh, yeah. as in a good movement or not. We can recognize, we want to be recognizing quality movement. We want to become expert movers and attuned to our movements. So